Hello everybody. The Synchron Cellos have just passed our internal test stages and I'm very excited to show you what makes Synchron Strings 1 stand out with a few simple examples using just the regular Vienna instruments. No additional reverberation, no EQ, the pure Synchron stage sound. Alright, let's start with an articulation we have not announced in our articulation list and you also have not heard it in any of our demos, the flautandos. sounds great on its own and we have added a second velocity layer with slightly more pressure on the bow so you can now crossfade between those two velocity layers using velocity crossfade. And you can see that I'm using the VI Pro remote app that's now also available for Vienna instruments. I can switch with the remote app between different articulations in the matrix and I can also use it as a MIDI controller for all my faders that I also see on the basic view of Vienna instruments right here. So if I'm moving my velocity crossfades fader on the app, it also moves in the basic view. You can also use it to control slot crossfade and let me show you what else is there for the flautandos because we have added a crossfade from the flautandos to the lowest recorded pianissimo layers available in synchron strings. Listen how the sound changes as the bow, uh, the bow position changes from the flautando to the regular pianissimo. Full control even in the lowest dynamics. This is really something else and a great sound to work with. Okay, let's get to the short notes. And that's, let's start with the super shorts here without velocity crossfade. <laughs> And you've heard it just now, we've added a harsh layer for all the short notes. So if you're reaching a velocity above a 121, it gets really brutal. You can switch between super short notes and short notes, always depending on what kind of sounds you'd like to hear. Okay, let's get to the legatos. You have four different versions available, slow, regular, fast and the slurred legato. Let's get to the slow legato with lyrical vibrato, a soft attack and slow note transitions. And of course you can also use velocity crossfade right here.
you can hear the soft attack at the starting note and also how the sound builds after the transition. All right, next the regular legato speed. And we'll choose the option with the regular vibrato. You'll get faster note transitions and also faster starting notes. And you have another possibility to control the articulation of the legato. So if you'd like to have more marcato in your note transitions, bring in the slot crossfade to add more marcato. And I'll switch off velocity crossfade for this. You can also create passages that did not work before with a regular legato like this one. and the fast legato that you can use for fast lines. And we have decided to go with a slurred legato instead of the portamento for smooth note transitions. Listen to the difference with the normal legato. Much more precise note transitions and again the slurred legato. You can also use the slurred legato for runs. We were actually quite surprised to find out that with a lot of velocity layers, velocity crossfade is not even that important anymore. So if I switch off velocity crossfade and go with a regular vibrato with a slow legato, I can take advantage of the eight velocities that we've recorded there. just let those do the dynamic work for me. 
Okay, so now we've played with Velocity Crossfade and the Slot Crossfade that can control the Marcato within the three different available vibratos. And it's always the same system for all long notes and legatos. You have the strong vibrato in the first cell of the row. The regular vibrato in the second cell. and a slot with no vibrato. And of course you get vibrato control, so the last two slots let you crossfade between the regular vibrato and no vibrato, again using the slot crossfader. And you can also crossfade between the lyrical vibrato and no vibrato. The system is the same for all legatos and long notes. You always have three vibrato options in the first three cells and then you have two additional crossfade vibrato options in the last two cells. Only exceptions, the short notes in the first row, the tremolos, trills and pizzicatos in the last two rows and the flautando we've played before as well as the crescendos that we'll get to right now. So Synchron Strings 1 are designed to be an interactive sample library that gives you access to all the colors an ensemble can produce. But there are some articulations that need to grow and evolve more organically. So we decided to record very long crescendos and diminuendos and you'll find those right below the flautando with here starting with the crescendos. These crescendos and diminuendos contain six velocity layers with different length of crescendos and diminuendos. So if you trigger a pianissimo layer in the crescendos, you will actually get a 32 second long crescendo. The higher the velocity you trigger, the shorter this crescendo will be. And the other way around with diminuendos. If you trigger a pianissimo layer in the diminuendos, you will get a 12 second long diminuendo that fades into nothingness. Pretty cool stuff. And the same for the diminuendos and listen to how the release sounds. just have to love this sound. Of course you can also use velocity crossfade to crossfade between those different crescendos. And you can switch between crescendos and diminuendos as you like, on the go. Start with a crescendo here. And 
and you always get the right release sample. Now, imagine you had a sample player that lets you control all these parameters at once. Velocity crossfade, vibrato crossfade, marcato control, and add speed control, unlimited stacking options, and a full-blown mixer. I have two words for you. Synchron player. Actually, I have a few more words for you as soon as possible in 2018. And I can't wait to show you what the Synchron player has in store for you. Thanks for your attention. See you soon.